Positive thoughts, positive thoughts. And here we have a Jonathan in his natural habitat, trying to turn a water wheel. Another day here in Xiamen. Today's little uh, excursion, we are going to the Vanka Creative Center. It's apparently a sort of company that builds cheap, um, nice looking office spaces for new startup companies uh, here in China, and I guess companies that are wanting to expand into China. We are on the main island today, uh, so it was an hour long bus journey for us to get to here. Positive thoughts, positive thoughts, let's just try and get into the mindset, you know. Some people might love coming here for a business trip and learning about companies. Unfortunately, that's not really me. Uh, but yeah, we will go and try and have a positive mindset into this. Next and I think final stop of the morning, we have been taken to another office block, uh, apparently specifically for design companies. Obviously the Vanka company has set a very high standard in terms of their offices, so we're just going to have to see if these guys can match it. So our trip around the offices is done, uh, I'm not sure what else to say really, that was pretty much it. I'm still not actually in the business of renting out office spaces in China, so try to get as much out of the morning as possible. The positive thing to come out of it is that we got a ride over here to the main island and we have free time this afternoon, so we can just stay here and head out and do a bit more sightseeing and see some of the things that we haven't actually seen yet in Xiamen before we leave in a few days. A group of three of us have decided to hit up the Botanical Gardens this afternoon, uh, have a wander around there, uh, hopefully it should be a really nice trip out for the afternoon. And here we have a Jonathan in his natural habitat, trying to turn a water wheel. There are several perils involved in this. One is falling off the water wheel, as demonstrated. <laughs> so yeah, this is some beautiful technique. Great arm strength, you can see the muscles um, supporting himself quite well. The water's whooshing from the wheel if we get some different angles. Look at that, the concentration on his face must be noted, um, yeah, so, beautiful, claps for Jonathan everyone. Uh, 
And so back to the first main lake by the west gate entrance, uh, just as the sun is setting. Uh, just rounding out our circle walk around the botanical gardens. From going around work offices in the morning to being one with nature here in the botanical gardens, definitely preferred the afternoon. It's definitely brightened up my day and uh, yeah, had a really nice time around here. Uh, but now I think it is time to go get a spot of dinner. So today turned into a rather long and tiring day after quite a bit of wandering through some meat and seafood heavy food halls. Eventually came across some veggie food, uh, got a couple of bowsy, a nice sort of way to eat a bit of street food for a change. But yeah, that pretty much sums up the day. I think though, hopefully tomorrow should be free time. So, no more company visits. I mean, I can't knock it too badly. One of the people in our group may have actually got an internship out of our trip and meal outs with the VR code people. So it was obviously of some use to some people. It's just, I guess, not what I was expecting when coming here in terms of what was advertised. But hey ho, uh, we will use the free time tomorrow to do some more activities that we haven't yet done uh, here in Xiamen. Hopefully lots to look forward to, but for now, it's definitely time for bed. Our penultimate day here in Xiamen, and the decision has been made to head off to the beach this morning. We just have to catch the metro over to the main island again, I think, and head off to uh, the best beach we can find, and let's go have some fun in the sand. Worked up a bit of an appetite, just sat there doing nothing on the beach. So we are now venturing along to try and find a bit of food to eat for lunch. We'll just have to see what we can find and hopefully we'll get some good grub. we head back I thought I would take the opportunity to uh, go and have a look at the cannon fort that's just right next to the beach uh, just a bit further up the road. Out of everything in here in Charmaine it's actually one of the few things that gets a mention in the guidebook I have so we will go and see uh, what there is.
trip to the cannon fort done. Uh, fish might run around. Uh, actually, we keep, sort of keep finding new things to uh, go and have a look at there. Did turn out a bit bigger than I expected. But now we are gonna go and find something to eat, I guess. wandering the mall for a bit and a few of the outside shops as well as veggies eventually settled on a sort of do-it-yourself noodle soup place where you got to choose all the different ingredients and then give it to the people behind the counter and then the chefs whip it up for you fairly quickly it's actually really nice hopefully we'll come across all of those again during our travels around china maybe but yeah, it's been a pretty good day, though I am still shedding sand a bit everywhere. That could be my last sort of outing out into Xiamen. Tomorrow is sort of my last day here before we head to Hong Kong on Sunday. But there are quite a few organisational things that I need to get done, really. I am going to head to the shower and try and get rid of some of this sand so I don't turn into the sand monster. Thanks for watching the latest installment of the vlog. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to know anything about my two months of travelling, then make sure to hit up the comment section below with any questions or queries that you have. And if you want to keep up to date with the rest of my travels and how I end up here in Hong Kong uh, and up on the peak to see the Hong Kong skyline, <laughs> then make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification as well so you get all the notifications about when the next videos in the vlog are coming and I will see you then.